Hey guys, welcome back to another Trade It video and today I'm going to be showing you how to host CS2 private matches. So what is private matches? Private matches are very similar to your standard competitive matchmaking, however you can queue with and against your friends rather than randoms. Private matches are good for goofing around in and having some fun as well as serious practicing too as they do not affect your rank or elo ratings. So let me show you how to set up a CS2 private match. So first what you're going to want to do is open your Counter-Strike 2 and then head over to play in the top. Once you click this, make sure you are on the subheading of matchmaking and then head all the way over to private matchmaking on the right. Once you click this, you will see this screen here. Now, one of your friends is going to need to be the host and the host will press create a private matchmaking pool. Once they do and this pops up, they're going to press OK and this will simply generate a fresh code for you to be able to host a lobby. The host will then press share code and copy and paste that to their friends or anybody who's wanting to join. And then they're going to press go. Now, if you're one of the friends that are wanting to join and you've just been sent this code, what you're going to do is head over to manually enter a code and you're going to paste in the code that the host just sent you, like so, and they will pop up right here, meaning you know it's the right person that you're joining and you're going to press join queue, like so, and you'll see all of the people joining line up here. And yeah, that's how you host a CS2 private match. So some people like private matches because they offer a element of customizability, um, such as changing round lengths, how long the freeze time is, how long even the bomb planter timer is for, um, that obviously you don't get on your regular matchmaking. So yep, that about sums up the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Trade It uh, website as they have a blog that goes into detail um, about how to set up the private CS2 matches, as well as things that I didn't cover such as how to add people on Steam as friends if you don't already have them added um, as well as their suggestions on apps like Discord that you can use for communicating with your friends during the games rather than using in-game uh, speech and yeah that about sums it up thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video